today I would like to show you how to calibrate a Gamma X. When you calibrate a Gamma XL, it's exactly the same procedure. Um, usually a calibration is not necessary when you handle with liquids close to water. The pump is already pre-calibrated, um, but we strongly recommend a calibration when you handle with viscous medias or when you have a degassing dosing head like a PVT7 or a P or an PB9. Um, when you do the calibration, it is really important to calibrate always from the suction side. So put a scale or a, um, or a calibration vessel on the suction side and then you start a calibration process. This is very important because when you calibrate um, via the pressure side, um, you do not get such accurate um, values as you, as you have things like a pulsation dampener or a back pressure valve and yeah, these cause um, these are causing bad dosing results. For the calibration, you just go in the menu, then you go on settings, you go on calibrate, and here you see two things. The one thing is the calibration factor. Um, yeah, the calibration factor is a preset on 100%. Um, yeah, you can change it, for example, to 101% or 102% if you find out that the pump is always pumping a bit too much or a bit too less. So this is the calibration factor, but um, when you do standard calibration, you can calibrate and then you push the button. And here we have our scale. And as I said before, always calibrate from the um, suction side. And now the scale is on zero and I start the calibration process. It is really important that the pump is pumping at least 200 strokes to get So, now the pump has done more than 200 strokes and we quit it. You know, now we see exactly here, 245 strokes and here is the um, fifth liter. It should have done 0.155 liter and here the scale says D3 milliliter. So we regulate it a bit down. Then we press on enter. And we see here the calibration factor of 89.1%. This is um, because we have here a PVT7 valve. Um, this is always pumping a bit um, less, so a calibration is here um, crucial. And um, now we have set everything on the system pressure. And as I said before, don't forget to calibrate from the suction side. So, that's it.